Fora TV. The world is thinking. So perhaps like Vinod's forecast, I'm trying to look a little farther out than just the next year. So I think there'll be some important trends from this that play out in the next year, but it's more over the next five or so years that I see this having an impact. What is it referring to? The distributed web, the aggregate power of all of you, what you think, what you do, your daily activities, will have some pretty profound impact, not only on large media properties of the past, but also telecom industries. And I'll try to end with an example of one forward-looking example, search as we know it uh, going forward. So what, is, what does the trend say? That innovation occurs at the edge. This is true in biological innovation, it's true in startups. It's not the warm center of the sort of thinking or um, a centralized model, but people out on the fringe sort of as metaphor. More precisely, what I'm referring to is the power of you. So user-generated content is already obviously more important than the centralized media of the world, right? Most of what a teenager reads today is written by someone they know, which is kind of astounding. It speaks perhaps to Joe's point. We're inevitably moving down a path where the aggregate creation of many authors is more important than a few centralized media outlets. If you think about um, where uh, information is spread and how people communicate. You look within social networks, it's again amongst clusters of small social graphs, a group of peers communicating with each other within a social network, not all reading the same centralized star topology of information flooding out from one, from one place. And recently there was a Nielsen report just a couple of days ago showing that sure enough, as you suspected, more time is spent on social networks than email. So we've reached that tipping point already. Now that's the past. What I think is interesting about the trend is how can you leverage this from a business sense? Where are the opportunities for new entrants to make some money off this, to aggregate and take advantage of this capability at the peers, out at the nodes, out at your client desktop, as opposed to a web server? And one of the interesting things, I think, is that although intelligence moves to the edge, whether that be web services, whether that be client software on your iPhone and iApps, whether that be peer-to-peer um, -peer networking and what you can do with that, that's a trend that's been going for many years but people haven't really figured out a business model. How can you take advantage of all that aggregate output that's out there? In fact, the concept of crowdsourcing is one way of thinking about that. How can you rise up one layer and say, how can I take advantage of the group? I mean, the fact that half of this year's trends were crowdsourced, if you will, is I think one indication that things are tipping for the first time. So how do you take advantage of this federated group? Let me give maybe just three quick examples. In the area of content, let's say you're a media property. Let's say you want to reach women on the web. iVillage has been trying this for 10 years with a centralized model. And recently they changed, but for 10 years they tried the centralized model, and they were stuck at around 16 million uniques, meaning it just wasn't that compelling to women. Uh, I don't know how many of you go to iVillage regularly, but in aggregate the statistics say they're not the winner. They were number one, they're no longer number one. A new entrant from 2005 came in called Glam, an Excel portfolio company as well as one of ours, to be fair. And they aggregated all the long tail, all the little blogging sites, all the user-generated content, rolled them up, and provided an advertising model, a business model, for all that content that was going unmonetized. And they rose within two years to be the number one women's site. One year later, they became a top 10 property on the internet, according to Comscore, right? More than Facebook, more users per month than many of the companies you've heard of. And certainly within their demographic, right, which is aiming just at women, they exceed the traffic of all traditional media properties combined. iVillage, Yahoo Women, AOL Women, Condé Nast, and just about every only one you can think of that was targeting women. Add them all up, this one user-generated content blogging aggregation play gets more views per month, 100 million a month. Pretty amazing. Um, and they are just one example, right? There's countless examples of this. If you're Facebook, right? Very interesting story, right? How would you best advertise on Facebook? We're just now learning that you don't, let's say if you're BMW, advertise to someone who says, I like BMW, I have one. Much better is to look at the social graph and advertise to the person whose friends say they're interested in BMW, but they don't. They're more likely to be a buyer than an already existing customer or enthusiast. And we're just beginning to see the beginning of this. I think UGC will trump centralized content. I'll be more brief in the second example. Telecom, trillion dollars a year of services industry, radically restructured. One day you will not pay a phone bill as a separate bill. That is just a truism. It'll probably take 20 years before we look back and say, oh yeah, I once paid a phone bill. Just like one day, you, I mean today you look back and say, I once paid an email bill. You used to pay for email software and you used to pay an annual $5 a use subscription fee. It's just a data service. Telephony is just a data service. Video conferencing is just a data service. And when Skype spins out of eBay and goes public, in the next six months, which they claim they're going to do, you'll finally see what they've always dreamed of, which is mobile communications. Right? They were Europeans, for God's sake. They never thought you'd speak with a computer. Right? Their founding vision was Wi-Fi handsets, and it's been the carrier's perpetual attempt to crush Skype that has prevented that from happening. And because eBay is a multinational corporation, they have to kowtow to the carriers and their overt pressure. A free standalone company, you'll finally see the Wi-Fi phones. They're always meant to be. 
whenever you're at home, work, or anywhere you got Wi-Fi, you just talk for free. And, and that'll be, the, of course, the catalyst for um, changing the entire telecom industry to data services overlay. Last example, looking forward, something that hasn't been announced yet, but there are a number of companies working in an entirely new way, a better way to do search. You hear some rumbles about it around Twitter and other products that can give you the real-time web. What's hot right now? What's going on right now? The blog search engines don't quite do it. They're getting better. What you'd really love to know is where are people surfing right now for certain types of search, not information search. The Wolfram Alphas will still have a role. Google will still have a role. But there's a kind of finding of information that's missing out there. And if you think about it, a lot of that has to do with web crawling, the centralized model. Build the big data center, heat it, you know, put tons of energy into it, and try to know everything from the structure of the web, the founding vision of PageRank. Much more effective would be, what if I knew what actually was going on in every browser, where you were actually surfing? If I could preserve privacy, yet watch where people surf, where do they spend time, you will get recency for free, you'll avoid spammers and SEO um, kinds of problems, the search engine optimization game and uh, cat and mouse game that Google has, so that all the bad results around IRS searches and stuff that have been notorious would go away for free. You get the deep web for free, Craigslist, eBay, things you didn't even think to find out in your search engine because you need to be very fast and not put a load on all those sites that ban robots. You get all that for free too. So all the problems with search are solved if you instead distribute the entire search engine, have no servers, have no crawlers, and federate the desktops of many individuals and what they do day to day. There's companies like Wowed that will be soon releasing a product in the US, it's right now only in Europe, and others that are pursuing that vision, and I think it would be quite exciting. It may fail, but if it succeeds, I think it would harness the power of the collective wisdom of the crowds in a way that you can't do with just algorithms and centralized servers. I think you all are smarter than any one computer.